We have here a beautiful hooker computer hutch and desk. This thing has more pieces than you can shake a stick at. So first you can pull out and you've got either a standard drawer or you can see the hooker plaque there with a push of a button it drops down and you've got a really nice keyboard tray. Not only that, you've got a large space above the keyboard tray for documents or anything else. And this is adjustable and removable. So you can move it out, push it back in. It also gives you easy access to your cords, which will go underneath the desk. We'll shut this here. You can close it back. See beneath there's a nice little foot kick plate. You've got access to your cords for either side. So you can put your computer tower in the left or the right. The right drawer has a nice document tray, or you can lift this with a finger, and you've got plenty of space for both documents and a pen and pencil holder. Down below, we've got another area. This could either be for your CPU tower, as this whole bay actually slides out. Gives you easy access to either use your computer tower, or if you wanted to put a small file cabinet, or any other thing in there that you need to hold. And then this side is even more interesting. This hooker cabinet has a completely built-in set of power controls. So you can turn on everything in here from the main, your computer, monitor, printer, auxiliary. And then you've got extra shelves down here below. These are originally made for CD trays, obviously. However, these are removable. And then you could use this for smaller storage, file storage, papers, or anything else. There's two of these. There's even a little bit of extra space on the top. And again, if you can see in the back, where the light is, there's a pass-through for your power cords, computer cord, mouse, keyboard, etc. And then this is traditionally where most people would probably keep the computer tower. You can see there's an opening in the back here. You've got an opening <clears throat> on either side again where it feeds through, an opening in behind. And then this is so new, if you can see the press-out pieces there, it's kind of hard. But there's actually a very tall, vertical, oval press-out and then a small oval on the bottom that's horizontal that you can knock those out if you need extra ventilation or extra area for your cords to come through. This hutch on the top, the credenza, is separate. You can take it apart, remove it. The whole thing stands at just at 82 inches tall from the base to the very top. It's roughly 72 inches wide, which is six feet. And then I will have to get the depth from the uh, post below. So check this out, come see it at Value Auction Barn.